you have studied trigonometry values in the first quadrant from 0 to 90. Ever wondered what happens in the second, third and fourth quadrant? I am Samir Jivani and I am going to take you around 360 degrees using a unit circle. What is a unit circle? A circle which we consider as a radius to be 1. So consider any point on the circle which I call as x, y. That means since this is a unit circle, this radius over here will be 1. Now, can I say this point over here when I drop on the x axis will be at a distance of x and this value over here is at a distance of y and hence this height also over here is y. Now, consider this line raising at an angle of theta. What do we know? Do we know sine theta is opposite y upon hypotenuse which is 1 and do I know cos theta is adjacent x upon hypotenuse 1. Hence, can I say this x comma y is actually cos theta comma sin theta. So, this value over here x comma y is cos theta comma sin theta which is positive in the first quadrant. We quickly recall in our 10th standard we know this is my first, second, third and fourth quadrant where my sign convention is x is plus, y is plus. x is negative, y is positive. x is negative, y is negative and over here x is positive, y is negative. We are going to read this over here as cos theta comma sin theta. Hence, in the first quadrant, cos and sin and hence tan, all my trigo values are positive. In the second quadrant, cos is negative but sin is positive. In the third quadrant, cos and sin both are negative, hence tan is positive. And in the last quadrant, my cos value is positive. So, we know over here, as per my quadrant rule, the first quadrant has all positive, second has sine, third has tan and fourth has cos. So we end up saying add sugar to coffee or all students to cinema. That is how we get the sign convention. Do you know any other code for ASTC? Share that with me and let me know. Happy learning.